Hi everyone, Gem and Scrolls here. As promised, I'm doing a video on this laptop table that I got, which I'm using as my easel for the time being. So um, I picked this up because I was working just as a flat surface, which isn't beneficial at all. Um, and because um, I'm in a room kind of off on its own, and in the evenings when the kids go to bed, I don't get a lot of time with the hubby if I'm doing my diamond painting. So this makes my diamond painting a little more portable because I can pick it up and go. And what I like about this is the legs uh, move. You have buttons here on each end and each section moves at whatever angle you need and you can configure you can configure this out in different ways. Uh, so now it's up a little higher, although this part here wouldn't be as sturdy, but like if I were to um, shoot, okay. So if I were to move, this enough so I could angle this up. This will take a little bit. It does take a little bit to configure them a little, but you'll get the idea as, as I start working on it a bit. So, and I'll you do have to do every side a little bit. It takes a little bit to get it all worked out. Oops. I've messed something up here in my configuring. There we go. That's what I'm doing. Why isn't this one working? There we go. So I haven't got the, all the angles proper. That's why it's not sitting flat. But you can set it up in different ways, different heights. Um, which allows you to fit it at different workspaces. So that's not exactly even, but uh, trying not to fiddle with it too much um, while on camera. Um, you can set it at different heights and angles. You can even extend the legs out straight. And what's really cool is you can make it a lap desk easily enough. Um, I'll do it really quick off camera. Um, but what I tend to do is use it while I'm sitting at the couch with my hubby and the legs support it. The legs will support the table and all of the stuff on the table um, over top of my lap as if it were a, 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 I guess, a TV table. The only thing is, it, it does make it so that you're not able to move so much without moving the whole thing. So this... Oops. Right now, like that, is how I would have it. And these would actually be right beside my, my legs, like where I'm sitting. And this is a good height for me um, to work from, which allows me to uh, be portable in, in the living room, so to speak. You obviously have to be able to move this every time you need to get up which is like a downfall but for the most part once I'm sitting down I don't usually have to get up too much and when I do I usually it's usually to put everything away um now if you have a light pad you're not going to have so much of an issue with these little vents uh my light pad's not in right now and so I've been using a really big piece of heavy cardboard which also works for um large like you could use this for a larger piece and i have little clips so let me just 
put a clip on really quick and I will show you. So I have little clips and I'll clip the cardboard on so that it's sturdy and I'll clip it here, 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 and here. Then make sure my cardboard's going nowhere. Yes, I have to be a little careful around here when I'm getting to this section. But with that being said, um, I'm portable and I get to spend more time in the same room with my hubby. So that makes life easier. Plus this works well for my teaching. Um, so it's kind of multi-purpose. Uh, another bonus to this, uh, let me just put this away so we can see it. Now I can't use this as comfortably with the cardboard there. So it's only when I'm using smaller diamond paintings and I don't much like it anyway, but it does have a little shelf. Um, so you can put something on there. The downfall to this is that if you're not using light pad and you're using a light, and in this case, this light is magnetic, but this is not, even though it's metal, it's not magnetic. So you have to kind of work something out there. If you, you have a clip light, that would work. Um, and it does work really well as a tabletop because you can raise and lower it and it, I make it so that like my bigger project will roll over this way or it'll roll over this way because I have more space over here. Whereas a lot of my other stuff tends to be set up over here. So I don't want it rolling over there. Um, at least not right yet. Maybe if I, uh, maybe if I move all that stuff over here, I can have my stuff roll over there. But anyway, um, so yeah, this is my little, little table. Now I did pay uh, $50 that's Canadian for it and included um, prime delivery. No, it wait. No, it did not include prime delivery. Um, and there was a slight fee included in that for shipping. I think I'll have to double check those details. You think going into this video that I would have been smart enough to look this up. I will double check and post it in the description below, but I do know that it was for, uh, $50 for it. Um, and like that was everything kind of included. Uh, and I really think it does make it easier for anyone who doesn't have, uh, a setup, a work setup, or you have to like, move your setup, you know, and if you're only doing smaller DPs, it's definitely well worth it. Larger ones, if you want a larger easel, then yeah, you might need something else, but this is definitely really good for keeping people mobile, um, or more mobile. Yeah. Cause if I wanted to, I could take this outside. That would be great. Anyway, so that's it for today. Just a little heads up on my workspace, I guess. And, uh, yeah, if you guys like and subscribe, I'll share other tips that I have and I'll um, keep you posted on any new uh, companies that I unbox and do pros and cons videos for. Um, chat with you guys later. Thank you for hanging with me tonight. Goodbye.